escape velocity is a statistic used on many different objects in space that has to do with their gravitational pull. Escape velocity is the upward velocity starting on the ground that you would need to escape the gravitational pull of a massive object. Interestingly, escape velocity is equal to root 2 times orbital velocity. So to find it, use the square root of 2 times the gravitational constant times mass divided by distance. Escape velocity is the speed that if you were moving directly away from an object, you would barely escape its gravity. Over an infinite amount of time, your speed would reach zero, because gravity is slowly pulling you back. So escape velocity is really the lower limit of the speed you would need to escape the gravitational pull of an object. To find the graphs for position, velocity, and acceleration over time for escape velocity, we use the fact that both position and time approach infinity, while velocity and acceleration approach zero. A set of graphs with these properties are the square root of x for position, 1 divided by the square root of x for velocity, and 1 divided by the square root of x cubed for acceleration. These are complicated equations, however, they do describe what is happening when something moves away from an object at escape velocity. For exact graphs, you must find what the initial time is. To do this, use the graph x squared divided by 2 times the escape velocity times initial position. Then, at the x value of initial position, whatever the y value is, is your initial time. Then, in the position, velocity, and acceleration graphs, replace x with x plus initial time divided by initial time. Once you have done this, multiply each graph by their initial values, which are initial position, the radius of the object, initial velocity, escape velocity, and initial acceleration, surface gravity. With these values, you will have your exact graphs. With that more complex aspect of escape velocity out of the way, let's take a look at a simpler one. Different objects have different escape velocities. Earth, for instance, has an escape velocity of 11.2 kilometers per second. That is really fast, but makes sense if you consider just how massive Earth is. Luna has a slower escape velocity of 2.38 kilometers per second, which is still incredibly fast. But the Martian moon Deimos, which is pretty much an asteroid, has an escape velocity of 5.64 meters per second, about 12.5 miles per hour. That means that most people could sprint off of the moon. And, if you can jump at least 1.6 meters or 5.5 feet on Earth, you could jump off of the moon. Overall, escape velocity is a measure of gravity, and it is useful for space travel because it is the lower limit for leaving an object.